Welcome back, everyone. Crypto Patrick here. It's it's been a minute since I've been on here. Sorry, I haven't uh, been showing up lately. I had my computer break and kind of uh, took some time off to work on some things. But I'm going to start updating you guys as much as possible on uh, my channel and make you guys, you know, really informed on what's going on in the cryptocurrency market. So taking a look right now, I just want to uh, tell you guys right now, I'm going to do a little Ripple giveaway right now for about 10.79 Ripple. I think it's selling for about. 69 cents it's about seven dollars but if it goes up you guys will make some money and uh why i still want to do ripple videos guys even though it's the most centralized currency you know banks hold about the, the, the top 100 people hold about 98 percent of the currency meaning that it's uh you know very centralized but the thing is it's it's doing really good as the number three currency right now as you guys come over to coin market cap you can see ripple is still at 69 cents and it's a number three cryptocurrency. You know, Bitcoin Cash is one of my favorite ones right now, but Ripple's still doing pretty well, guys. And uh, some of the news that came out is Brad Garlinghouse actually said that, you know, customers with XRapid, that's kind of a protocol that uses XRP, they are now uh, seeing that they're saving up to 70% in transaction fees. This means that uh, it used to take days to settle payments. Now it's taking under two minutes so this is really big news. They're seeing it with MoneyGram. They're seeing it with uh, Western Union. They were doing all these uh, test pilots of X Rapid guys, and now it's uh, starting to get used. So this is really good for cryptocurrency. Even though it's a centralized currency, it's going to make the whole cryptocurrency market do really well. And if you guys are wondering why the market is kind of uh, down right now with, with cryptocurrency, what I want to show you is uh, you know it lose it. We lost this 9K support because. Uh, there was a reaction to a South Korea investigation. Cryptocurrency is very volatile, guys. If, if one thing comes up in regulations, there's a lot of things with JP Morgan right now. Um, they just like filed a patent for blockchain. There's a lot of good news happening. I, I, have, I firmly believe that cryptocurrency is going to keep shooting up past that $20,000 mark, which it has hit before. So we should definitely keep an eye on what's going on in the market. But if you guys want to see right here uh, what is going on, it basically just says that... Uh, We've seen this dip. It fell below the $8,540 mark, and this is from the investigation of the South Korean um, Upbit and Fresh Montgox funds liquidation. And you can kind of see it here if you want to look at what's going on with that. There's a um, an article here on Coin Telegraph, and basically they just said that investigators they filed something for an alleged fraud that was going on. And uh, this cryptocurrency exchange is run by a subsidiary. So whenever these things happen, guys, and there's like some, they think there's some fraud suspected, we see a little a dip in the market because we know the Asian market controls a huge percentage of this. We knew after the Chinese Lunar New Year, you know, the crypto market, see, the cryptocurrency market went back up to uh, that 10 grand mark. I I firmly believe that it's here to stay, and we're going to see a lot more, you know, stuff going on with that. If you look at uh, Brad Garlinghouse, he says that. X Rapid and with Ripple, you know, in regards to Ripple, we're seeing that, um, you know, uh, more people are using this. We know that uh, Ripple is a, it's a real, it uses real world businesses. You know, it's uh, solving real world problems, and um, this just makes all cryptocurrency look good, guys. Even though it's kind of the most centralized one here, and um, if you look right here, it's, it's been, they're basically just saying uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with the first uh, test pilot of X Rapid, they're saying that it's it, it's basically that going to be the internet of value for money for sending cross border payments. Uh, the first payment uh, in the in the critical remittance corridor between U.S. and Mexico financial institu institutions using X Rapid saw a savings of 40 to 70 percent compared to a normal exchange. So I mean, this is huge for payments, guys. This is going to look make crypto look really good. And it took average of three days when sending cross-border payments the other way with like normal, you know, um, historical cross-border payment methods. And uh, we're, you know, we're looking at this. They're saying it's the internet of value, which is really good. So, I mean, Ripple is here to stay, guys. They're going to solve these real problems. It's just that it's kind of a centralized currency, so a lot of people don't like it. And um, this is just a little news update for you guys. I think Ripple, you know, will creep back up with Bitcoin and all the other ones, but we're going to have to see... A lot more uh, companies accepting it, like I've said in the future. This is just kind of the beginning uh, of cryptocurrency uh, coming back up, guys. I think just this little setback right here with the South Korean exchange will uh, get solved because there's still a lot of favorable news coming on in the market. So this is your Ripple update, guys. 40 to 70% savings with Ripple cryptocurrency. Still really good, even though it's a very uh, volat volatile um, and easily manipulated market because a lot of people, a lot of banks hold like, you know, um, I think it, 
they said about yeah, ninety eight percent of it is held um, in the top the top one hundred the top one hundred of XRP holders, which is about a hundred thousand. They hold about over a hundred thousand XRP. Means that they uh, hold 98% of the value, so they can easily change this. So just know that's why Ripple doesn't go fluctuate a lot. But when we start seeing real-world uh, cases and a lot more people start using this technology, then uh, we're going to see that price jump up a lot, guys. So uh, put your XRP address in the description, and I will send a lucky winner 10, 10 XRP coming your way. All right, thanks, guys, and have a good one. You're going to see way more videos from me in the future. And, uh, you know, let's make money bit by bit by bit. And if you look in the description and you want to learn how to, you know, grow a market and have an extra, you know, generating business for Bitcoin, then definitely join BitClub Network. It's $600 to uh, join. But if you can build a network, you can make a lot of money. And uh, you can basically mine Bitcoin indefinitely because you're always compounding. All right. Thanks, guys. And more videos to come.